Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see a one more concept in computer organization or architecture that is control unit. Control unit, right? So the name itself indicates this will control all the parts of a computer. So it will transfer the data or instructions to all parts of the computer. So mainly, it will be residing inside the CPU. So usually we call it as, so one is the ALU, CU and memory. The CPU will be having the three partitions. One is the arithmetic logical unit, the control unit and the memory. And this control unit will control the all parts of computer as I have said right now. And similarly, this control unit will send the data or the instructions to all the components of a computer. So it will decide or it will operate the operations done by the processor. And this control unit is divided into two categories. One is hardwired control unit. Another one is microprogrammed control unit. Microprogrammed control unit. So coming to the hardwired control unit, the name itself indicates here, the complete computational logic will be designed with the help of some sort of hardware components like uh, gates, flip-flops, decoders, encoders, etc, etc. So the logic, the control logic will be designed with the help of flip-flops, gates, encoders and decoders. Whereas here the microprogrammed control unit, the computational logic, the control logic will be designed with the help of a programs. That means a software, right? With the help of programs. So we know that usually the program is a set of instructions, right? So these programs will also be called as micro instructions. Micro instructions. So for every program, there will be different kind of instructions, number of instructions, right? So those instructions we can also call as a micro instructions, right? Now we will see what the design circuit of micro programmed control unit, okay? See, let us close this one, erase this one. So micro programmed control unit, microprogram control unit. So here we will be having a different components. One is next address generator and this is usually also called as a sequencer, sequencer, right. Another one control address register next control memory so there will be some sort of memory in order to store the instructions and control data registers data registers right so these are the different components which are available in program micro program control unit so we will see one by one what exactly will be there in all these components right so again it will be redirected towards here and there will be some sort of external input external input and here there will be a connection from one component to another component and here it will be control word word right so this is the next instruction next instruction right so usually a program what we have saying the design logic of this micro program control unit will be designed with the help of a program so the program will be having set of instructions different instructions right so let it be this is one instruction one instruction two instruction three and so on and instructions so by executing all these instructions the program will be get executed now you can see 
the next address generator will be holding the instruction what to be executed next right so it will it is nothing but it it, it will be having the address of address of next executing instruction next instruction right instruction so from there the control address register there is a one more component called control address register so in this one the address of the instruction will be stored so it will be having the address of instruction whatever the instruction need to be executed so that address will be stored in this control address register so from there there will be some sort of control memory which we, we usually call as a rom that is a permanent storage right so here the instructions what to be executed will be stored permanently in this control memory and coming to the control data register so whatever the instruction available in this address that instruction will be stored in this data register so instruction yet to be executed yet to be executed so this will be presented in this particular data register and control word from that we will be having the control word so the decoding process will be done here so why decoding means in our previous session we have seen the instruction format so how the instruction will be designed so some three categories some address some opcode and operations so everything will be done here and finally the control word will be there the control word means some sort of micro operations for every instruction there will be different micro operations right so see program the program will be a collection of instructions and each instruction is collection of micro operations so what are the operations we need to do right so the micro operations will be available in this control world in binary format because the processor will execute only in a binary format right so that's why here it will be in binary format and here in this data registers itself whenever the instruction is being executed immediately the next instruction will be fetched into this particular next address generator okay so usually that's why we are calling it as a sequencer in the sequence which instruction should be executed further so that will be decided and that will be loaded into control address register by this sequencer for example we are executing the instruction 1 so the instruction one address will be gone to the address register from here the whatever the instruction is executed that will be loaded into the data register immediately whenever the instruction is loaded into the data register the next fetching instruction will be done by the sequencer and that address will be stored in the control address register so this logic we are calling it as a micro programmed control unit so here we are dealing with a program and then instructions and then operations okay so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much